When they say you should have at least a million dollars to retire, do they mean just in funds, etc.? Or does that include things like real estate and expected social security income? The oft-quoted figure of a million dollars for retirement primarily references liquid assets. Think retirement accounts, savings, investments, and other funds that you can readily convert to cash. But there are a few layers to consider regarding this. Hash 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 liquid assets. The million dollar figure primarily aims at your liquid assets. These include your 401, K, IRAs, stocks, bonds, and savings accounts. These are the funds you would draw upon to cover your retirement expenses like daily living costs, healthcare, travel, and unforeseen emergencies. Hash 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 real estate real estate, such as your primary home, rental properties, or land, can also be a significant part of your overall retirement strategy. But it's usually not included in that million-dollar liquid asset target. Why? Because real estate isn't as liquid. You can't quickly sell a house or a rental property in times of need without perhaps incurring significant costs or losses. However, owning real estate can reduce your expenses in retirement. Like if your home is paid off, you won't have to worry about mortgage payments. This factor might shift your need for liquid assets downward. Also, generating rental income from a property can supplement your retirement funds. But keep in mind that real estate markets can be unpredictable and managing properties can be a hassle. Hash 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 social security. Social security benefits are typically considered separately from this million dollar figure. The rationale is that social security is a guaranteed income stream rather than a liquid asset you control. You can use online calculators to estimate your expected social security income to understand better how it fits into your overall retirement picture. Incorporating this income can significantly impact how much you need in liquid assets. For instance, if your Social Security covers a significant portion of your anticipated expenses, you might not need a full million in liquid assets. Hash 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 comprehensive view. When planning your retirement, it's crucial to look at your entire financial picture, not just individual components. Consider your expected expenses. Calculate your monthly and yearly retirement expenses, including housing, health care, travel, and leisure. Don't forget to account for inflation. All your assets. Combine your liquid assets, real estate equity, and any other sources of income like pensions, annuities, or part-time work you may undertake in retirement. Risk tolerance and life expectancy. Your risk tolerance and life expectancy can heavily influence how much you need saved up. Hash 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 final thought. In summary, while the million dollar target for retirement typically refers to liquid assets, your real estate and expected social security income certainly contribute to your overall financial stability in retirement. Understanding your specific needs and resources is essential to planning a comfortable and secure retirement. Plan wisely and enjoy the golden years.